What's up guys? Welcome to today's episode. It is... It is... What day? It is day 54 of this cut and we are doing a high carb day today along with our shoulder workout. So we've already had two meals today, one meal at 2 a.m. and one meal at 6 a.m. Both of those meals being one cup of uncooked rice with just four ounces of 96.4 ground beef and throwing lots of salt on it. So let's get in our third meal of that now. Doing things a little different today, we are gonna be using instant rice because I feel it digests better. I feel like it's easier to digest. It's a lot more processed and I'm down with that. So we put 90 grams of dry instant rice in here and then we just put a little bit of water on top. Once you have enough water in there to soak the rice, we just throw it in the microwave. Just microwave on high for three minutes. So today our macro goals are 220 grams of protein, 525 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of fat, giving us a total of 3,200 calories, which is at about a 500 calorie deficit for me. All right guys, so that was meal three. So we're gonna be working out at about three. Um, we're gonna eat again, basically that same meal at two. And then we'll prep our pre-workout and intro workout shakes. And then we will head to the gym for shoulders. So I'll see you for meal four. What's up guys, it is time to get in meal four. Like I said, it's going to be the same meal we just had. So, uh, Deal with it. Also, it's two o'clock, time to take our second dose of T3. Take 25 micrograms at 6 a.m., 2 p.m., and 10 p.m. I'm gonna throw in some pickles on this one. Make it taste like a hamburger. Alright guys, so that was meal four. We've only got two meals left today, and that's at 6 and then 10 p.m. tonight. So today is a high carb day, a very high carb day. Um, earlier this week I was doing super high protein, and it was just, you know, it's one of the days I like to flex in there every once in a while just to really kind of experience being full, and it really makes you appreciate days like this because I mean, I can eat 200 grams of protein every day and feel great. And so, uh, you know, having these meals that aren't like super huge or super heavy just feel great. So, um, yeah, so I don't, don't feel bloated at all. Don't feel sick or anything like that. And, uh, I feel like I'm going to have a, I'm going to be feeling really good for this workout today. So. I'm going to let this digest for about an hour and then I'm going to start putting together my intro workout shake and then we're going to have our pre-workout and then we're going to go do some shoulders. So I'll see you guys for that. All right guys, so it is 3.30. It is time to get our pre-workout together and head to the gym. So that was our pre-workout. Now we're gonna set up our intro workout shake. Eight ounces of orange juice, 50 grams of dextrose, five grams of creatine, five grams of BCAAs, and a thousand milligrams of sodium and a thousand milligrams of potassium.
All right, guys, that's it. Let's go do some shoulders.
right, guys, had a nice little shoulder session there. Incorporated a little bit of uh, rest pause training on my overhead presses and my uh, face pulls. I like to include those sometimes just because it, I mean, it really just ups the intensity a little bit. And, you know, I, I don't think that those kinds of uh, training techniques should be used all the time. I think, you know, you should kind of pepper them in a little bit because, I mean, I feel like if you do that all the time, I mean, your body adjusts to it, gets used to it, and then where do you have to go next? Like, what, how do you go up from there? How do you increase the intensity, you know, beyond rest pause training, FST7. You know, with a lot of my clients, when I make them a program, I don't include a whole lot of that kind of like failure type training. I mean, it's just kind of some advanced training techniques that, you know, aren't necessary at the start when you're getting back into things. It's just, it's not necessary to do that kind of stuff when you're getting back into a training routine. So that's what's up there. I'm on my way home, I'm going to get in meal number five. I've only got two meals left. Both of them are gonna be beef and rice. Maybe throw some barbecue sauce on one. Maybe throw some pickles on another. Maybe some soy sauce on it. I don't know. We'll see if it's gonna be a, a hamburger night or a Chinese night. But that being said, I'm gonna spare you guys from having to watch that. And yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here. So thank you so much for following along into this journey. We are at day 54. It's been quite a ride. We've still got quite a ways to go. If you have any questions, please email me at chaseirons at gmail.com. Remember, down in the description box below, you can find all of the supplements that I take, even some new ones that I have not talked about yet. Go down there and check those out. You can kind of see what uh, what might be coming in some future videos. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.